So how do you tell what a steroid user looks like? Got a question on Tumblr. It said something about when are you going to learn what a real steroid lifter looks like? <laughs> even, the, even the title, steroid lifter, just shows this person's a motherfucking noob. And it doesn't make him a bad person. It just means they're really, not even crazy, but just uneducated, uneducated. Last night, I had a really late night last night on the internet till fucking 3 a.m. again. But I was out on the town, walking around, I come back from May Veggie Kitchen, which is a really fucking awesome vegan restaurant here in Bangkok. And I went, I'm staying right near there, and around the corner is like a world famous pharmacy, probably the most famous pharmacy in the world. Those who know who I'm talking about will know. I'm not gonna say where, what it is or where it is, but it's the world's most famous pharmacy, and the reason is they have some of the highest quality anabolic steroids OTC. Most people don't know what OTC means. OTC means over the counter. And they have everything. They've got GH, fucking Anova, Winstrol, Clenbuterol, fucking everything you could ever want to be a John Phoenix physique or a Kino body or a Roido body or a TMW or whatever all these crew take and take long term to get these results and then claim they're natty. What does a real steroid loser look like? Did I just say steroid loser? Look, I don't think you're a loser if you're taking steroids. I've done steroids myself. I think they've got incredible therapeutic dosage effects for healing from surgery or injury. And I definitely have used them and would continue to use them in the future if I needed to. But in terms of using steroids to change your aesthetics, like Botox or other surgeries or whatever, I, did, I disagree with it because it become, you become this identity and then in my opinion become a drug addict because you become addicted to physical aesthetic effect and once you get off steroids, you shrink, you sw you, you shrink down and you get the, the dual durin rider effect. If you're natty. And, or you might be a bit more swab. But you, you can't look like a steroid user and be natty. You just can't. So anyway, I walked in the pharmacy last night and I saw a soldier in there. And I'm like, this motherfucker's on the gas. It was pretty easy because he's in the world's most famous pharmacy. Anyway, I grabbed my phone out, did the undercover style. Phone, anyway, Garmin. And I'm just sort of like, I snuck up behind him. I was wearing running shoes. So I snuck up behind him. I could tell he's, you know, he was like zoned in on the, on the uh, pharmacist. And he just starts to rattle off what he wants. And, he, and I looked over his shoulder. He had a list. He had a shopping list. And then so I pulled up alongside him. And he sort of looked a little bit nervous. Because there's so much stigma about steroid usage. And I said, oh, they got good stuff here. Is it legit? And he's like, he didn't answer me. He tried to ignore me. And I said, oh, is it legit here, bro? And I, I, I like leaned into him. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, and he still looked away. He didn't want to have a conversation with me. There's so much fucking stigma. This dude's in a pharmacy buying steroids. He looks like a motherfucking soldier. He's not as fucking ripped or swollen as Kino Body or Venus or TMW, but I could pick him from a mile away. This motherfucker's using exogenous anabolic steroids in high amounts long term. And I picked it, and I was right. And, he's like, and then he said something like, oh, this is like, you know, the first or second time I've ever done it before. And I'm like, hey, no worries, mate. He had tits out here. Had fucking the Venus fucking back knee on his shoulder. He's probably like 35 or something. The back knee, you get this zits and shit. Not everyone gets the zits. Not everyone gets goes bold, but hair thinning and zits are definitely a common sign of anabolic usage. And again, it's just it doesn't make people bad people. There's so many fucking motherfuckers out there who say, but you're not got a steroid addiction, do not it? You're this skinny motherfucking 66 kilos at six foot tall. And then you have fake natties at 95 kilos, shorter than me or around my height, saying they're natural. But I'm the steroid user. I want a fucking refund then. Or well, they say, hey, I'm not even that big. But hey, look over Drew right here. He looks fucking anorexic, but he's got a fucking steroid addiction. Like, how the fuck does that work? I don't know how it works. Is people would rather hear the fucking fallacy than risk their illusions being destroyed. People find the truth hard to digest when it compromises their illusions. And uh, But anyway, what does a steroid user look like? Man, that, you, you cannot take steroids and not have it show in your aesthetics and all your performances. If you're doping as a runner or a cyclist, you have the most incredible fucking 10K times and 10 minute power outputs. Like insane fucking times, bro. If you're on anabolic steroids, you'll be popping fucking muscles on muscle. You get muscle on muscle on muscle. You won't be like Ronnie fucking Coleman, who's taking like four grams of fucking meal. You'll just look like a fucking like, people will like, wow, swole motherfucker. You'll have a, a following on Instagram or whatever. People are like, oh my God, look at this, look at this. 
People want something that's not natty. We don't want every day. We don't want everyday performances in the Tour de France, in the World Cup soccer. We don't want that. We want to see fucking freak shows at the Olympics. We want to go on Instagram and see fucking like inspo shit. Stuff that we think's unattainable, but we like to dream it. It is attainable naturally. Unattainable naturally. 100% unattainable naturally. And when you're chasing stuff that's unattainable naturally, you're always going to have pain, man. You are always going to have motherfucking pain. So what does a steroid user look like? They look like they're on steroids and you can't fucking hide it. You can't hide your performances over 10 minutes or 10K or even the marathon and you can't hold it if you're doing higher dosages, your swolgers. You can't use EPO or you can't use EPO and not have fucking world-class performance. You can't have world-class performance at like a high, 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 high level in high paid sport without EPO. You can't have an incredible aesthetic effect without anabolic steroids. Put me on record. It's fucking true. I've shown it over and over and over and over again. And I have to do video after video after video fucking showing it. And I, I am obsessed about it because I find it incredibly amazing at how rife anabolic steroids are, but at how people deny it when they've got a fucking raging a raging steroid addiction. Now, I've done steroids and I understand how addictive they can be. Because, mate, once you start getting swole and you're getting the compliments and the guys are like, oh, watch out, he's swole, you know, respect, bro, man, love you. You mirroring, bro, you mirroring. Once you start getting all that shit going, you ain't getting out of that ever, man, in my opinion. 